So guys, welcome to another episode about MQTT. Today I'm going to teach you how to access your MQTT broker in programmatic way. And for this episode I'm going to use Python programming language and Paho library. So if you don't have Paho library installed, uh, please uh, use pip and install it. And what is important, uh, in this episode I'm going to use encryption system we have created in our previous episode. So if you have not been following uh, this uh, series of tutorials from the beginning, please check at least my previous episode in order to understand how to create encrypted communication between your client and broker. And in my local directory I have uh, all of uh, documents from my previous episode and only one that we are going to use in this case uh, is a certificate authority certificate. And this document is absolutely necessary in order to proceed with this project. So I'm going to close it. And in here I've created uh, two documents, publisher.py and subscribe.py. So on publisher side we are going to create script that is going to uh, publish content to our MQTT broker. And with subscribe we are going to read those messages. But actually most of the code from both sides is exactly the same and quite straightforward. And I'm going to start with uh, publish.py but then we are going to copy that code to subscribe.py. So first thing that we need to do is to import paho.mqtt.client as mqtt client or give it any other name that you like and another import time we are going to need this library too so first I'm going to create variable address and I'm going to provide address of my local broker Another it's port, I'm going to use a security port 8883, then user, user that we have created in one of our previous episodes, Donny, password for that user, it's four zeros, and topic that we are going to publish to, secret. Now we need to create two callback functions. on connect with arguments client data flags and return code and now if return code it's zero that means that we are connected I'm just going to print connected to my screen else print connection error but I need to format this string so with connection error I'm going to provide str of return code in this way we are going to know what's wrong with our connection and I need to type column in here. Now I'm going to create second callback uh, function. So def on message and arguments are client data and message. Now message text it's going to be message payload decode with utf8 and now we are just going to print something to our screen of course formatted message topic message topic and let's make some space like this and message text column message text and new line at the end okay this part it's done now we are going to deal with uh, connections I'm going to create client is going to be MQTT client client we have created object now client on connect is going to be 
on connect. In this way, we are connecting our uh, callback functions. And of course, client on message on message. And now we have to provide path to our certificate authority certificate. So this is that document ca.crt with client TLS set. And in here we are going to provide path in folder source document CACRT and next thing it's also about security TLS insecure set to true and now what this line actually means means that we don't want to verify our certificates and if you are using self-signed certificates on your local broker you have to provide this line other way uh, this code is not going to work this value is actually by default set to false. So if you are using this piece of code on the internet, by default your certificates are going to be verified. So next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to auth authenticate client username uh, underscore uh, pw underscore set. And in here we are going to provide username and password. And the next line we are going to connect to our broker client connect and as arguments provide address and port number so this piece of code is going to be same uh, both with publisher and subscriber so i'm just going to copy this entire code to our subscribe.py now i'm going to create while loop in order to be able to uh, publish continuously and i'm going to provide kill switch for example uh, if i type command the break we are going to break away from this loop so i'm going to use while true first thing that we are going to do we are going to uh, take a message from our input so message is going to be from input and we are going to create some prompt message something like this and let's put new line at the end now if message contains command break we are going to break from this loop then I'm going to print message to my screen and I'm going to publish it. Client publish and we are going to publish to topic. We are going to publish message and we are going to sleep time dot sleep let's say one second okay this part is done and now we are going to uh, do subscribe part okay and on subscribe side you could use method loop forever but I don't want that I want to set a connection timeout for that I'm going to use variable counter set it to zero and I'm going to say while counter less than 30 First, in order to start our loop, I'm going to use command client dot loop start. Then I'm going to set timeout, time sleep of one second, and then client loop stop. And finally, I'm going to rise value of our counter. And there is one important thing that I have to do in here. I have to set topic. This is not necessary on a publisher part. Subscribe and I'm going to set topic. All right. So now we are ready to test this code. I'm going to open my local directory. Okay. And I'm going to open terminal. Okay, so 
uh, on uh, left side I'm going to uh, execute uh, publisher code and on the right side I'm going to uh, execute subscribe code okay so I'm going to use Python subscribe dot py we are connected and I'm going to execute publish.py on the left let's see now we are going to send message message hey okay we have our message on the right too let's give it a bunch of zeros and after 30 seconds uh, this code on the right is going to break out I'm going to fast forward this a little bit all right we are done and finally on the left I'm just going to send message break all right we are out everything works perfectly so guys thank you for watching I hope that you have learned something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya